In this video, we're going to be finding a logarithmic form for the inverse function of cosh x. So in a similar way, we're going to go about it as we did for shine. So first of all, we swap the x's and y's. So that swaps it, or reflects it rather, in the line y equals x, as we want. So we can then write x as being equal to e to the y plus e to the minus y over 2. So I'm going to multiply up by 2. So 2x is equal to e to the y plus e to the minus y. I'm going to multiply through by e to the y. So 2x e to the y is equal to e to the 2y rather plus 1. And then I'm going to rearrange it to get everything on the right-hand side. So e to the 2y, take away 2x, e to the y, plus 1. Now I'm going to complete the square. So 0 is equal to e to the y, take away x, all squared, take away x squared, plus 1. OK, so let's rearrange this. So I can add x squared to both sides, subtract 1 from both sides, and then square root both sides. So e to the y, take away x, is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of the x squared, take away 1. OK, now I'm just going to leave that plus minus there for the moment. So now I can write e to the y as being equal to x plus or minus the square root of x squared take away 1. Now, the argument that we had uh, for y equals shine of x and finding its inverse was that e to the y couldn't be negative, And what we had there was negative when we had the minus sign. But here we've got x squared take away 1 inside the square root sign. Okay. Now, the problem there is that x squared take away 1, when you square root it, is going to be smaller than x. So x take away this is positive. We do get a positive result. Now, the reason for that is that for our curve y equals cosh x remember we're getting two valid results here so for a value of k or value of y we are getting two results but in order to define the inverse function what we did because we've got to reflect it in y equals x, remember, we've got to be working with a one-to-one -one function, and this is currently many-to-one. So we scrubbed out half of the graph and defined cosh x to have x being greater than or equal to zero. We restricted the domain so that we could write down an inverse function like so. Now, when we log both sides here, I'm still keeping in that plus minus just for the moment. We get this. And from the previous video, when we were solving cosh of x is equal to 4, we found that the two results that you get are the negatives of one another, and they had to be because y equals cosh x is symmetric about the y-axis. So what that's telling us is that log of x plus the square root of x squared take away 1, and, what, and log of x take away the square root of x squared take away 1, they are the positive and negatives of one another. OK, so this point here would be the positive version of this, whereas with the other half of the graph, 
this would be log of x take away the square root of x, take, x squared take away 1. So we've got rid of that, and so we are just having plus here. Okay, so it's y equals the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared take away 1. So we can say that r cosh of x is equal to the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared take away 1.